What's up everyone? Good morning. My radiator blew out on truck 01, so I'm headed over to my mechanic right now, RMZ Fleet Services, and I'm praying to God that I make it all the way without having to get towed. Chopped around, see who could change out the radiator, and then I called RMZ, and he's like, "Oh yeah, we could do a radiator." So I'm headed over to a shop right now, and I got my fingers crossed, hoping that I make it all the way. Because yesterday I I looked to see where the leak was coming from. There was a small leak. My driver reported that you know when he started in the morning that he's seen a small leak, radiator fluid just like dripping on the ground. And he seen that it was like a red color, so it had to be my, my radiator fluid. But when he drove it, it wasn't leaking at all. So it must have been like a super slow leak when the engine was turned off, then it like started dripping a little bit. So then when I looked at it, it was like during the middle of the day, I seen him at the port at Hanjin, and uh, I looked under the hood, and yeah, it wasn't leaking at all. So I was like, all right, see how it goes. Hopefully, you know, it stays good and not leaking and then once I we both finish our day and get back to the yard then I'll go ahead and check it out and see exactly where the problem's coming from so yeah at the end of the day I went to the yard went to truck 01 and opened the hood and I could see a trail of leakage which led all the way to the top hose to the top of the radiator so my initial thought was okay I just need a new hose so I go to velocity I put the hose on wheel call I go pick it up well, first I had to put fuel in the truck because it was about that time to put fuel. He only had a quarter left. And then when I was pumping fuel, that's when I opened the hood and then tried to see where the leak was coming from. And then, yeah, I seen that it was coming from the, the main big hose that connects to the top. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Maybe it's just a hose. So go to Velocity, get the brand new hose. And then I drive back to the yard, let it cool down a little bit. And then I take the hose off and sure enough, Come to find out it's not the hose it's the plastic round part that the hose connects to that had a big crack in it so it was like it got warped it just i don't know wear and tear or what it's a plastic radiator so the piece that it that the hose connects to is plastic so it kind of it makes sense i've only had that radiator for about two years and it already failed on me so i don't know i gotta see if maybe there's like a metal radiator that I could get so that this doesn't happen again but I don't know I just got to see what Victor recommends that I do or I just get the same radiator again and hopefully it lasts another two years until I have to change it out again but we'll find out yeah but anyways once I found out that it was the plastic piece that the hose connects to I was like oh man it barely had enough area for the hose to clamp onto because the part that's cracked is the main area that the that the hose connects to that you put the clamp on. But I have it hooked up just like that. Like I try to push the hose all the way, like past the part where it's cracked and then have the clamp like all the way on the edge of the hose so that it's on the solid part of the, the plastic round part just to have something to hold on to, just for me to make it, you know, the 10 miles to get to RMZ shop but I'm almost there got about I don't know two more minutes till I get there my temperature has just reached 200 right now it's at about like one maybe like 195 right now well yeah I'm almost there almost there Sheesh. because that would have sucked if I would have had to tow it just to go like 10 or 15 miles I, they probably would have charged me like a 500 bucks for a tow truck so thank god you know i'm almost here yeah i'm gonna make it even if that hose comes off right now i'm like one more minute till i get to a shop so i'm good yeah i made it i'm here now we are here I'll just wait and see where he wants me to park. All right, I made it to the shop. 
Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. So yeah, right here is where the leak was coming from. If you zoom in right there, you can see it's all like rusted right there because that's where it was dripping. And yeah, when I took off that hose, that plastic piece that it connects to was just cracked. So I was like, last night when I did it, it was like nine o'clock last night and I was working on this thing. Had a long day, 14 hour day, and then I had to come and work on the truck. But yeah, that's where it's leaking from. So the radiator is all one piece, so it can't just be repaired from that spot. So they just got to change out the whole radiator. So hopefully it's not too expensive. Ready to be picked out with the cherry picker. Breaking bread with the fellas right here. RMZ. <laughs> all right, it's all buttoned up. Up and running. Got the brand new radiator in there. Got the brand new radiator fluid in there too. Nice to have peace of mind now, knowing that my radiator's not gonna break down. All right, got my paperwork, I'm all done. Went ahead and got a oil change, 90 day inspection, brake adjustment, and grease. Killed two birds with one stone. Thanks to my guy right here, Eduardo. Yeah, yeah. have a good one, man. And the head mechanic right here, Vicente. Thank you, Vicente. You're welcome. And now we can roll out. All right, just made it back to the yard. Today was an expensive day. Sheesh. Let's see, the radiator came out to about 1500 bucks. It was 1400 for the radiator, parts and labor. And then I had to get brand new radiator fluid. So 10 bucks a gallon times 11 gallons, I was 110 bucks. And then plus my oil change, brake adjustment, uh, grease, and 90 day inspection. Uh, overall, it came out to about $2,000 for, for the day. And then plus losing out on the loads because, well, it was an emergency, so I couldn't risk having today off plus having tomorrow off just so that I could have it done on Saturday. So I went ahead and I had my driver take my truck that I usually drive so that he could complete his loads. And then I took his truck, which needed the new radiator, and then I had to just cancel my loads. So it is what it is. Um, it, stuff like that happens. It's a trucking company. You know, breakdowns happen. You gotta get your maintenance done. If you don't, then even more breakdowns could happen. And uh, yeah, as far as the economy, man, it's just it's just horrible right now. I just can't wait for everything to go back to normal. I mean, these load rates are freaking low, like super low. Last year, loads were paying 500 bucks. Now they're only paying like 350 or 400. 
the net inflation, everything is super expensive. It's, it's really hard to pay for the necessities in life. And then fuel is like, it's ridiculous. It's $800 every time I have to fuel up each truck for a full tank. And that's if they still have a quarter tank of fuel left. It still comes out to about 800 bucks. It's out of our control. All we can do is just keep trying, hope for the best and expect the worst. And uh, try not to give up. But anyways, if you made it this far in this video, I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to smash that like button, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time I drop a new video. And if you're new to the channel, give me a follow. I got more videos coming soon. Um, if you want to support this channel, check out the Amazon affiliate links in the description below. Anybody that buys something off those links, I'll get a small commission, which will help me a lot in creating more videos for the channel. All right. Well, thank you and see you on the next one.